Hey everyone, welcome back. If you are excited for fall makeup trends, you're in luck because today we have a purpled burgundy eye with a soft autumnal lip. You don't need a lot of products. The majority of this eye look is created using one pencil. I hope you enjoy. To start, I've already completed my base, brows and primed the eyes so that we can get onto the cool stuff. As always, I like to start with some neutral socket shading, a bit of MAC soft brown through the socket to act as a transition. I've chosen this particular shade because it has a pinkened brown undertone, which matches the burgundy liner to come. Adding some extra depth with MAC Swiss chocolate, which is essentially a deeper, richer version of our transition shade. Buffing back and forth using small circular motions, you know the drill, I'm taking that shadow right towards the bridge of the nose. Socket work done. Now grab a deep oxblood or burgundy pencil and etch a thick wedge on the outer third of the lower lash line. Continue that pencil past the iris, tapering it to a very thin line. I should mention that I'm using a lip pencil here and any product that's not designed for the eyes has the potential to irritate, particularly those with reddened pigments. I've used Night Moth countless times on my eyes and have lived to tell the tale, but you know, approach with caution, use common sense. Disclaimer aside, we're following the angle of the lower lash line upwards and using a very light hand, feather the pencil inwards to create a messy wing liner of sorts. Now one of my favorite techniques that you've definitely seen on my channel before, grab an angled brush and begin to smudge the pencil until there are no distinct lines and it resembles a bit of an elongated haze. Taking a bigger synthetic brush to diffuse the lower lash line. I'm blending quite close to the inner corner, but I know that some of you out there are thinking, that's gonna make me look really sick. If that's a concern, keep the burgundy well away from the inner half of the eye, or you could also use a brown shade that leans purple instead of the flat out reddened shade that I'm using. Two tips to make it a little bit more wearable. Now at this point, there will be some residual product on the brush. So let's introduce a bit of that burgundy tone into the socket. If you are seeking insanely rich payoff, what you can do is hold your pencil over a flame for just a few seconds. Make sure it's not hot to touch and then apply to the eye. So aligning the outer half of the lash line and repeating that process. Blends with an angle brush and then dragging the product through the crease with our bigger synthetic brush. Despite the fact that we've only applied product to the lash line, you can see that we've manipulated that color and it's traveled quite a bit. That's because I'm using a lip pencil. If you are using an eye pencil that sets, you might have to scribble some product on the back of your hand and pick up some extra product on the brush. Feel free to add any color to the lid. I quite like the tonal effect going on here. So I just ran our synthetic brush over the lid, get a bit of purple on there. A few finishing touches that I think really benefit this look. I'm taking MAC Smut eyeshadow, which is a deep gray with some red glimmer and lining the upper and lower lash line. This is just to help separate the whites of the eyes from those red and purple shades. Back to our transition shade to soften those edges on the lower lash line. That is the key to a heavy lower lash line, I think, making sure those edges are really soft. Eyeshadow done. We are now lining the upper lash line with black liquid liner to conceal our lash band. No flick, or oh, you can add a flick if you like, I'm just keeping it simple. Give the lashes a quick curl and tight line. Again, this helps to separate the eyeshadow from the eyes and prevents you looking a little bit sick. At this stage, the eye is entirely matte and I always feel compelled to add a bit of variety in texture and finish. So we are adding some glitter liner across the inner third of the lower lash line. This particular liner has a blue flash, which I think is really fun. For lashes, I'm using quite a PC spiky pair by Manicare. I do really like these, but I prefer the Alessandra style that I wore in my prom makeup tutorial. 
Those ones are a little bit wispier, but you know, these were a nice change. A little before and after, ooh, I love false lashes. Heavier lower lash lines I think always look better with dramatic lashes, in my humble opinion. And MAC Giga Black Lash is the best product for the task. More glitter, <laughs> a little around the tear duct and I'm softening with a brush. I just like symmetrical placements, I guess, I don't know. That, my friends, is the eyes done. Finishing off the rest of the face. We're doing some precise cheekbone sculpting with the Ashia shade in the NYX contouring kit. Now this shade throws a little bit pink to my eye and that kind of perfectly sums up my opinions on this palette. The textures are really nice, but the shades, oh, they're just not quite right. Taking a bronze shade on a big tapered brush just to add some depth around the temples so the face doesn't appear quite so flat. Making the most of this palette while it's on hand, I'm dipping into two of the shimmery shades to run along the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, and the cupid's bow. Ah, oh, Milani blushes, my favorite ever. This one I would describe as a rusty sienna sort of hue, which perhaps is not a conventional pairing with this eye, but to me it reads quite autumnal, so yay. Again, for the lips, you could go for a conventional nude and that would look awesome. But since I do that all the time, I'm going for a rusty shade to mirror the blush. Starting with a NARS lip liner and feathering inwards and topping with a lipstick in a similar muted shade. I did blot this down a bit because I felt like it was competing with the eye a little. That is the final look. It has been a hot minute since I featured burgundy shades or heavy lower lash lines, and I really like how this came out. So fingers crossed you did too. Come say hello to me on Instagram at shamelessfripperies. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye-bye.